know what time it is? It's time for a car show. Taking pictures, wheels and waves is just beginning. There's probably about 20 cars here so far. Yeah, how about that? It hasn't even officially started yet. No, but the turnout for the kind of cars is pretty fantastic. Amazing. How's it going? Oh, great! We're here! This is Ashley. Hi! Ashley handles the social media for the Malibu Country Park. What's your favorite car? This bad boy right here. Uh, that's a, a Nash Metropolitan. It's a little bit older than both of us combined, probably. Really? It's pretty old. <laughs> so what's it like to work for these guys? What's so cool about Malibu Country Park? It's amazing. I mean, we're in Malibu. <laughs> I know. It's awesome. Great stores, great places to eat. My best car story? Yeah. Going up in my husband's 911 around the canyon, overlooking the ocean. Has he scared the crap better. out of you? <laughs> yes. yes. Goes too fast. <laughs> okay. Where is he? He's right there. I have to go and compliment him. I'll have to go get him. <laughs> Good turnout for a first time wheels and waves at Malibu Country Mart. Some incredible rides. Just want to drive them all. I'm kind of going through withdrawal. I think I'll take this one first. I just pointed at her butt, that's not what I meant. something like this, 65, 70 cars that have shown up for this show. Not a bad turnout for the first time. Yes, Stuart, right now we're basically boogieing with Stu. Yeah, and we're all trying to warm up together. We're muddling together. He's such a baby. You drove a, a I am convertible a baby. Lincoln. Look at this convertible Lincoln. I'm a big you baby. drove this, and you're complaining. I'm a big bald baby. You know, his for, for his hands guy, really cold. For a guy that falls down for a living, he sure does complain a lot.
so cold. Oh. <laughs> You want to no. trade this for your Tesla? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show is over. Spectacular result. We're all gonna go and have lunch in John's garden. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Look at the lines. <laughs> no. So sad. <laughs> Wheels and Waves is over. Spectacular show. Still sitting here at the Malibu Country Mart. It's about 11.30, almost noon, and there's still cars in the parking lot. Let's go, man, let's go. All right, we're taking a, uh, a quick drive up PCH. Ken's behind me in his Porsche. But we're gonna head up north. We're gonna go to Free Beach up at Zuma. Get a photo op with all these cars. number one officially in this location very much a success approximately uh, 60 to 70 vehicles I'm not sure exactly how many because uh, people came in a couple people left and then more people came in and we just had a very eclectic mix of cars I want to be very clear about something uh, because a show like this is not an easy thing to accomplish and it certainly can't be accomplished by one person yes my name is on the show but this show cannot be done without the help of so many really great people and I want to be able to express thanks to those people the cost financial the people that own the Malibu country mark for saying yes because this is something that you you should contemplate and they contemplated it for about 30 seconds and they were good to go they were willing to, to take a leap of faith and to express that faith through supporting the show they were there and, and and had a really good time and they want to continue the show so that's awesome then there's Ken of course and Ken uh, you know Ken is one of those kinds of guys and I've mentioned this before he's a point-and-shoot kind of guy you just kind of rotate him and you say you know what this has got to get done and he just goes BAM and that's the kind of person that you need on a team like this is in the sandbox and the sandbox is growing by leaps and browns so thank you Ken great job Ken's website of course is wickedcustoms.com you should check it out then of course there's Wes the badass of photos. Wherever you go, whatever car show, Wes is there. How he does it, I don't know. I don't even think it's possible, but it seems possible because there he is. I kind of want to go over and slap him to see if he's real or not, because I think it could be some kind of, you know, holograph or thermal image or something like that. But no, boom, there he is. He's at every freaking show, including ours. But Wes's photos are phenomenal, and you should check him out, dailydriverproject.com. Thank you, Wes. You're a man of awesome. Then there's Greg Gill from the Automobile Dragon Museum. Of course, one of the best car museums on the southern west coast. I'm not sure that makes any sense. On the west coast. The Automobile Dragon Museum is a fantastic place where you can go and you can ride in some of these cars and see some amazing cars. And Greg himself, he showed up with wearing a fur coat, driving this amazing Packard, and a big old smile on his face. And that's one thing about Greg. He's always got a good attitude. He's always positive, always feeling good. And he is the kind of support system that you, could, you couldn't even dream of having. So thank you, Greg. You're a god among men. And there's Michael Axon, our, our, our infamously famous 
Englishman. Michael loves cars, but more than loving cars, he loves to give. He's done very well for himself. He has a very successful business, but he gives in so many ways that I couldn't begin to even list them all. Spectacular human being, a great father, and a, a tremendous support system. He just loves hanging out, talking cars, and driving some of his cars. TheEnglishCar.com And of course, to all those that have gone out there and let people know about Wheels and Waves, we greatly appreciate that. This is a show that's for you. There's nothing more exciting for me than to see two people come to a show who didn't know each other, get a chance to shake hands, talk about their cars, and then find out what each other does, and then create opportunity. And that opportunity is bound together through that love for vehicles, that love for cars, that love for driving, and that love for exploration and adventure. But I thank you guys, and it's really important. This is the most important thing, and this is today's theme. You gotta express gratitude. You gotta, and it has to be genuine. It's not something that you gotta say thanks in hopes that you're gonna get something else. You gotta express gratitude and say thanks because it's important for people to feel appreciated. And also big thanks to David Neal for coming from the Murphy Automobile Museum. Love the car, David. Love the car. We're gonna do everything we can to in constantly improve, to look at how the show went and, and, and how it evolved and how we can make it even better the next time. And lastly, I just wanna express one simple thing and that is happy birthday, Susie. Susie is Kathy's sister. Happy uh, 22nd it is, something like that. 